The Building Physics Solver is a cloud-based calculation tool which simulates performance of Shuko product configurations quickly and accurately. It computes structural, thermal, and acoustical performance for window and facade products, bringing state-of-the-art engineering to Shuko employees and their partners. In this video, we will follow a sample project from start to finish to give you an overview of BPS. Select the physics types you would like to calculate for your project. Select window as the product type. Click the dimensions to edit them. Change the width to 3000 and the height to 2600. Click the glass section and add a mullion using the tool above the model. To change the mullion's placement, select it and change the width dimension to 1000. Select both glass sections by holding shift and clicking, then add a transom. Select both transoms and change the height dimension to 2100. Select the lower left glass section and add a transom. Set the height to 800. Select the lower right glass section and add a mullion. Next, open the operability panel and add a new configuration. Select inward opening and tilt turn as the operable type. Select section six and click apply. Create a second configuration and select inward and bottom hung and apply it to section five. Open the framing panel and select a system. Click the arrow to choose your outer frame profile. Double click an option or click confirm. Select your vent frame profile. You can search for an article number. Finally, select your insulating bar material. Next, open the glass and panel section. Open the library to define your glass or panel settings. You can select double or triple glass or panel, and then select from the list of options, or create a custom glass or panel. Select a spacer from the library. You can also set your block distance. Open the acoustic panel and select your calculation method. If you need to calculate the wall perimeter effect, toggle it on, select your wall type, and enter the height, width, and room area. Next, open the structural panel. To calculate wind load, select the code for your project location. You can define the location by postcode or wind zone. Select your terrain category, then enter your building dimensions. Enter the window elevation and select your window zone. You can toggle on internal pressure and change these values. Once all your information is entered, click Confirm and your calculated results will appear in the left panel. You can also add horizontal live load and define your alloy, surface treatment, and permissible deflection. Finally, open the thermal panel. Select the code for your U value calculation. You can also use the dew point calculator. Now that you've entered all your parameters in the left panel, your project is ready to compute. After computing, you are taken to the results page. Click the acoustic icon to see the acoustic results and run tests using simulated environmental audio. Next, view the structural results. The members will be highlighted red or green depending on if they pass the analysis. You can click each member for more detailed results in the left panel. Finally, view the thermal results. You will see the results listed in the left panel. You can click the number of the profile in the model to highlight the results in the list. If you want to check the model or system details, click this product info icon. Next, we will go to the reports page. Here you have your acoustic report with the project information and acoustic results. You also have a very detailed report of the structural results. If you would like a condensed version of the structural report, you can click the structural short report icon. Lastly, you have your thermal report. 
You can rename the report and add notes. To download your reports, select the ones you want, then click download. Your browser will then download a zipped folder with your reports.